In terms of the trends of where we're going um, and where we've come from, I think one of the comments that I would say is that the population uh, that are coming through are often older people, so they're people who are settled, uh, they've got their lives in order and, and they have their two cats in their house and their dog and, and their um, in terms of in their profession is all at its peak and so then they're thinking in terms of fertility from there. So if you talk about where things are going, um, donor, <laughs> donor eggs is a big factor. Donor sperm was always an accepted thing, whereas donor eggs weren't. It seemed easier to get sperm, but eggs was sort of like, mm, it's, it's too much. And yet society has just turned around and started to turn around and think that actually obtaining someone else's eggs, it's still their baby um, at the end of the day, whether it's a donor egg or a donor sperm. Yeah. You know, it's still their baby and they're carrying it and, it, and it's, it's very real. You know, for them. I've probably had in the last three months two or three people who have come through the door without um, a known oh. recipient who have said, hey, I want to donate my eggs um, and don't have anyone in mind. There's been a fertility program called Inconceivables oh. on TV and that's made a big difference and opened people's eyes up um, in terms of, um, I think, donations have come out of that. So, oh. yeah, it's, a, it's an ever in, uh, increasing in terms of from that point of view. In terms of a natural cycle, um, someone over one month period of time without any fertility treatment, their chance of conceiving is about 25%, with IVF that's about 50% uh, for someone who was say less than 35. When you're up around 40 years of age, your chance of conceiving is probably really the 5 to 10%, mm. whereas with IVF you're looking at you know, 25, 30%, depending on what the quality of the eggs and the quality of the sperm is like. If there's one thing I would say, it's it's time and time again people come in uh, and through my door and they they've left it too late. <laughs> and, and and you're just you're just gutted because um, it's fine if you've got the money. If you've got the money then you're okay. But if you don't have the money um, then you know that there unless I find some pathology that gets them onto the wait list um, but then in the public system, that's a four month wait list and so you're already up against the wall trying to help this couple as much as you can on what, what is an incredibly difficult journey and um, it's just, it's, uh, you feel helpless.